powerful uh, her personal uh, talk about her life. Uh, this is affecting all of us in different ways. Um, a lot of people out there who are struggling. Um, I wanted to talk about a, a few things. Uh, the most important thing uh, is that the, uh, the ice caps are melting. You know that. We can't just say we'll do a little bit. Uh, the lady from, uh, who talked before me did a very, uh, very clear description of how the ice caps are melting and the people are flooding and it's, there's all kinds of crazy things going on. And yet, uh, the fossil fuel, the people who make money from fossil fuel continue with their, their, their need to make more money. You know, we've got uh, the Koch brothers and, and their friends and their politicians. Uh, so, I, do you remember in 1980, I think it was, Jimmy Carter said it's real? He said, and what he meant was that fossil fuel was running out. He didn't realize they were going to create all these systems for, for extracting fossil fuel. We are past peak oil. That's why they're destroying the earth, trying to get more of that stuff. And I wanted to tell you about Dennis Kucinich also. Because mm -hmm. Dennis Kucinich, um, he was the mayor of Cleveland, and the bank said that he, if he didn't, they had public utilities. And the bank said that if he didn't sell the public utility to the private utility, that they would uh, bankrupt the city of Cleveland. And they did bankrupt the city of Cleveland. And he lost his job as mayor for a number of years. But I don't know how long it was, but then when he finally ran again for Congress, his symbol was the light bulb, because he had saved public energy for Cleveland. And the public energy really is the way to go. And the private utilities make an awful lot of money, you know, by, by, uh, by keeping it private because they pay themselves enormous salaries. They don't pay the workers that well, but they pay themselves a lot. So I think that um, I don't have any more ideas to talk about now, but uh, you, you know that uh, renewables are the way to go. And when we get to the renewables, uh, like Germany is doing, uh, Iceland has geothermal, so they're doing pretty good. They've always had geothermal. But we, can, we have it right under our feet. And when the, uh, geothermal might be expensive, but the expense is in the labor. <laughs> you know, and there's going to be a lot of jobs. It would be nice if we could figure out a way to sort of subsidize that stuff so that we are not contributing to this situation where the the ice caps are melting, the uh, permafrost is melting, the oceans are getting getting acidified from all the CO2 in them. It's, it's a very long story, and it's, uh, I think you guys have heard some of it, but take it to heart, please. Thank you. Thank you.